Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and uh, this video was shot on 12-30-2025, the last drone flight of the year. Looking forward to the 2026, the year of our Lord, and the year of the Tesla Semi, when we start seeing a run rate. Well, first we're going to see the very first refreshed Tesla Semi come out of those doors right there, I believe, and go to this mega charger um, get, and get charged, go over to the north side, run down the test track, and, and then be delivered to initially probably Tesla Semi, I mean Tesla Engineering um, and Production. Engineering is the uh, group division at Tesla that is charged with proving uh, any new vehicle, including the um, Tesla Semi, version one of the Tesla Semi, which they've been doing for over two years, a Herculean dedication to um, paying the salary of multiple drivers to drive around seven days a week, two 12-hour shifts, um, with trailers filled with totes loaded down with water and flatbeds loaded down with um, concrete blocks. Little known fact is that engineering group also put miles on the um, Cybertruck. And there's a rumor that there was a Cybertruck, there was a Tesla employee whose sole job was to drive a Cybertruck all around the country, racking up massive miles. And um, anyway, here is the um, factory, the high volume factory on the second to last day of the year. The, the big event was um, after, after I brought the drone back and changed the battery. First of all, it looked to me like the one or more of the mega chargers are completed something we've been waiting for, a big event. And after I changed the batteries, you probably know, unless you just stumbled across this video for the very first time, you probably know that I captured the, um, the refreshed Tesla Semi with the light bar and other changes over at the uh, East End Mega Chargers. But this was before that. And now I was just driving, I was just flying around the drone, the uh, factory with the drone doing the normal circumnavigation. The windows at the front entrance are complete. And I do, as occasionally happens, get distracted by a large squirrel, a squirrel in the, um, shape of a Tesla semi with trailer that I caught leaving the um, entering Electric Avenue and then it turned left and went into um, the uh, Giga Nevada G GF1. There is the gantry crane still there. Still seems to me to indicate that there's one more stamping press to come. My theory by correlating that I arrived at by correlating an infinite number of variables is that the uh, stamping press for the uh, frame rails is still to be delivered. And here is the squirrel. There's actually two squirrels. Seiya. I was wondering if that was actually a Seiya branded Tesla Semi, but it, it wasn't. It was just not one of their normal um, LTL less than full load um, shipments probably brought something to um, 550 Milan this Tesla semi turned left and the reason I follow it so closely initially was to see if it was the refreshed semi and remember I'm looking at a little tiny screen so I still don't know for sure if this is the refreshed semi, but I do figure it out once it goes through the guard um, gate here. 
but then I continue to follow it, just curious if it's coming over to um, to the Giga Semi building or if it's going over to GF1. My guess is this is either a production or a Tesla engineering um, unit. If the utility trailers, very high quality utility trailers, are what is used by virtually exclusively by the engineering team and you'll see all manner of uh, different trailers used by the production team. So what I was getting at is this is probably an engineering truck driver heading over to the um, the existing mega chargers up behind um, GF1. It is kind of interesting because I'm on like nine times zoom, but I ended up um, I ended up almost lost in, in a way over um, at GF1, and I do make an effort to restrict my flights to the Giga Semi, as that is my focus. There is Pegasus at the roundabout. Pretty exciting. Pretty interesting thing. I, I think every hour it animates, is what some sources have told me. So I gave up on it, and now I'm trying to figure out where I am and head back to GF to the Giga Semi factory. But in the meantime, there's 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 Giga Semi, and in the meantime, we get a good look at GF1 and the uh, pretty extensive array of solar panels on the roof. The renderings of Giga Semi don't show solar panels on it, but uh, this is new. I don't remember ever seeing this many solar panels pretty much covering every available space. And I've been giving Tesla a hard time as why they don't put ground mount solar um, and compete with the nearby Apple server farm that has this huge ground mount solar field up in the hills, actually just above the um, view of this of this camera. You might even see it in the background. It, you, other videos, you certainly see it in the background. So now we're flying back over this little those mounds of dirt. I don't think Tesla gen. It could be based on what. Based on years of watching Joe Tegmeyer, it could be they're just storing that dirt. But I think it's more likely that they're going to do something with that. And if you've been following the channel, my guess is that maybe they're going to put a mega pack um, installation there. So this is something I've never noticed before. You can see the guardrails, but there's that circular thing. I'm not sure what that's all about. There was a little circular um, area. Right now there's a grader parked in there. We're coming around the southwest corner of of, Tes of Giga Semi, the Tesla high volume semi factory. There's one more interesting thing that um, we do because I have because uh, I don't remember and I haven't even taken the time to look back. But is that a recently painted gray appendage? Was, I don't remember that being gray, and that, that plastic looks like it may have been put up um, to allow them to paint. All this conduit has been there for a long time, conduit pipe for electrical, I would imagine, although it could be to run fluid up to the chillers that they recently put on the roof. Now we're going along the um, western edge of the building, and there's one more interesting thing um, to take note of, and that's that right there. Uh, future AZA had thought maybe those were stamping parts, but here is the Tesla refreshed semi. Thanks for joining. Let's look, here's to looking forward to a great 2026.